Hello crafty friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for a new card tutorial. Today I'm going to be making a laughing or even psycho hyena card depending on which way you look at it. So I'll go through all the steps involved in the process. Uh, first I'm going to start with the background which I created with this stencil. This is a cool stencil with a 3D effect and it seems to even give off more of that effect if multiple colors are used. So I chose four different Distress Oxide colors and I'm going to start off by painting, or sorry, ink blending in all four of the corners with the four different colors, kind of avoiding the middle area until I get around to all the different sides. So as I'm changing to the different colors, I'm showing you which color I'm using. So now I'm on Wilted Violet which just happens to look a lot like the new Pantone 2018 color of the year. And it was something I definitely wanted to use in today's project. So on the top left corner, I'm now using picked raspberry. And when I get around to the very last one, I'll be using broken china in that top right corner. And then I'll go back around to each color and blend them together on the sides and then kind of lightly color it in the middle so that it looks like it's getting lighter as it kind of bulges out in the center section, which was the effect I more or less wanted to achieve. And if I didn't mention this earlier, before I put the stencil down, I did spray the back of it with a repositional adhesive so that it would stick securely to the paper and not move around as I was doing my ink blending. So now that I get to this final phase, I want to add a solid a banner, I'm sorry, a solid bar stripe across both the bottom and the top of, of the card front. So I'm using Wilted Violet in order to create those two bands of color. And as you can see, I'm really uh, going back and forth several times in order to really saturate that color and make it bright and as solid as I possibly can. And then I'll have to put it aside for a little bit to allow it time to dry because I plan to emboss the sediment on the bottom and with Distress Oxide inks, they do take a little bit longer to dry due to the pigment properties that are in these particular inks. And now that I pull off my post-it tape, I have a nice clean edge on both the top and the bottom, and my background is complete. Now moving on to stamping the fun Psycho Hyena stamp that I'm going to be using as focal point on this card. I'm using Memento Black Tuxedo ink because I'm going to color with alcohol markers. And mainly what I've used for coloring is the Warm Gray set from Spectrum Noir. There were two, maybe three different Copic colors that I mixed in while I was coloring the hyena. And in order to kind of reference what I wanted the end result to look like, I just Googled pictures of hyenas, picture or found one that I thought was a or at least a representation I like personally, and set that off to the side so I could use it as a reference point as I colored this in. Because there, is, there are several minutes involved in this coloring process, I did speed this up to about four times the normal speed as far as what it took me. Still, overall, it didn't take all that long to color, but instead of me battling on through the entire coloring process, I thought, I would turn on a little bit of music so you can just observe me as I'm changing colors and what color I'm using as I'm finishing this up. And if you happen to want to skip the coloring phase, you can skip on to the six minute mark and then you can just see the card be put together.
now I'm going to work on finishing up the card. First, I'm going to treat the bottom left hand area with my anti-static powder tool in order to prevent any embossing powder from sticking. And I'm using the You Make Me Smile sentiment in order to complete the card. So at this point, I'm punching out the die cut hyena that I did with my rather scanning cut just to get an idea of placement at this point. And I'm using Versamark ink in order to create a sticky surface for the heat embossing powder to stick to. And now I'm speeding through the heat embossing portion of this because I know all of you that watch any card videos have seen this done a thousand times. And so now I'm finishing up by adding some dimensional foam adhesive tape to the hyena and adding some pop-up dots in order to make it as even as possible across the surface. Uh, up to the top right left hand side you see what I'm calling a disco ball. I took some holographic card stock and used a circle punch in order to create that shape and I curved the side so that it wouldn't be flat when I adhered it to the card front. And to finish the entire card off, I'm taking a side folding A2 sized card base and using some Tombow permanent adhesive, attaching the card front. And that is my card for today. Thank you for joining me again. Please be sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos.